Now let us discuss about Chomsky hierarchy of languages or types of languages. So mainly the grammar contains four tuples. So they are V comma, T comma, P comma, yes. Any grammar mainly contains four tuples where V represents a set of variables or non-terminals and the variables are represented by uppercase letters. T represents set of terminal symbols. So terminals are represented by lowercase letters or we can use digits or symbols such as plus minus star likewise. And P means set of production rules. We will discuss about production rules uh, in all the grammars. And S represents start symbol. Here mainly we have four types of grammars are there. First one is type 0 grammar. Second one is type 1 grammar. Third one is type 2 grammar. Fourth one is type 3 grammar. So first let us discuss about type 0 grammar. Type 0 grammar is also called as unrestricted grammar. So the name itself specifies the meaning. There is no restriction on the grammar. So there is no restriction on the left hand side of the production and right hand side of the production. An unrestricted grammar generates recursive enumerable language. In short, we can call it as REL. Recursive enumerable languages are accepted by Turing machine. Here the productions are represented in the form alpha implies beta. Alpha means left hand side of the production. Beta means right hand side of the production. Okay. Here alpha comma beta implies belongs to V union T whole star. That means alpha and beta is any combinations of non-terminals or terminals including zero occurrences. Why? Because here we use a star symbol. Okay. So that's why this is called as unrestricted grammar. So there is no restriction on the left hand side and right hand side of the production. So we can use uh, uh, any number of terminals and we can use any number of non-terminals in LHS and RHS. Let us take some example. AB, AB implies, AB implies, so B, C, D, E. So this is nothing but uh, this production only, recursive, recursive enumerable language production only. Why? Because we can have any number of non-terminals and terminals. So we can write some, uh, some uh, non-terminals before this one or between uh, this. Uh, this is also a production. Okay. So we can write any number of terminals and non-terminals in LHS and RHS. Now let us see about type 1 grammar. Type 1 grammar is also called as context sensitive grammar. In short, we can call it as CSC. And context sensitive grammar generates context sensitive language CSL. Context sensitive languages are accepted by linear bounded automata. In short, we can call it as LBA. Here also the productions are represented in the form alpha implies beta. But here alpha and beta belongs to belongs to V union T whole power plus. So plus means minimum one occurrence. Minimum one occurrence. That means epsilon is not allowed in LHS and RHS. So we have it is also a combination of here, here RHS is our left LHS and RHS left hand side of the production and right hand side of the production is also a combination of non-terminals and terminals but minimum one occurrence. So that's why we use plus. Plus means minimum one occurrence. So we have to use minimum minimum one non-terminal or terminal in uh, LHS and RHS minimum one occurrence. Let us see the condition here. Mod alpha is less than or equal to mod beta. So that means here mod represents length. So length of the left hand side production must be less than or equal to length of the right hand side production. And one more condition is beta not equal to epsilon. So right hand side should not contain epsilon. Right hand side should not contain any epsilon. And one more condition here is here left hand side production should contain minimum one non-terminal. LHS left hand side of the production should contain minimum one non-terminal. Let us see some examples. A implies B. A implies B. Is it, is it a context sensitive language production? A implies B. Here LHS contains one non-terminal. So there is no problem. And what is the length of this A? 1. So what is the length of the B? 1. So 1 less than or equal to 1. So this is a valid production. 
Uh, next, let, let me have A implies epsilon. Is it a valid prediction? No. Why? Because RHS should not contain epsilon. This is not a valid prediction. Next, AA implies B. Is it a valid prediction? No. Why? Because what is the length of LHS2? Length of RHS1. 2 less than or equal to 1. This is not a valid prediction. Next, BAC. Is it a valid prediction? Yes. Why? Because 2 is less than or equal to 4. Okay. So, this is about type 1 grammar. Now, let us see about type 2 grammar. Type 2 grammar can also be called as context-free grammar, CFG. And context-free grammar generates context-free language. Context-free languages are accepted by push-down automata. Here, the productions are represented in the form A implies alpha, where A is a single non-terminal. Where A is a single non-terminal, whereas alpha is a combination of non-terminals and terminals, we can use zero occurrences also. That means epsilon can also be allowed. So let us take an example. A implies epsilon. So this is a valid production. Why? Because here RHS may contain epsilon also. Next. Uh, next. BA implies BA implies ABC. Is it a valid production? No. Why? Because here the left hand side should contain only one non-terminal. But here we have here we have two non-terminals. It is not allowed. Is it a valid production? Yes, it is a valid production. Is it a valid production? Yes. Why? Because RHS may contain a combination of non-terminals and terminals. There is no problem. Now let us see the last grammar. That is type 3 grammar. Type 3 grammar is also called as regular grammar. Regular grammar generates regular languages. Regular languages are accepted by finite automata. Okay. Here we have two types of regular grammars are there. Left linear grammar as well as right linear grammar. So left linear grammar means the left hand side production must be must starts with non-terminal. So let me have a left linear grammar means A implies A. So we can have a, a single terminal. There is no problem. So A implies this right in this right hand side production. In this production, left hand side L it, it should always starts with non-terminal. So B after this B we can have any terminals, any number of terminals. So there is no problem. Okay. This is called as left linear grammar. Why? Because here this production, right hand side of this production is starting with non-terminal. Left linear grammar means here the leftmost symbol is non-terminal. Leftmost symbol is non-terminal. Whereas right linear grammar means rightmost symbol is non-terminal. So the examples are A implies A, B implies A, B, B. So this is a right linear grammar. Why? Because here the rightmost symbol is rightmost symbol is non-terminal. This is left linear grammar. Why? Because the leftmost symbol is non terminal. So, this is about Chomsky hierarchy of languages. Mainly, we have four types of grammars and their languages. And this can also be called as types of languages.